Yeah, I know I'm a little bit late to the party here, but I've been off the content grind for a little bit. I did want to talk about this. John Jones, the UFC heavyweight champion, has threatened a drug tester's life. There's a lot to unpack here. I want to take a look at Twitter. I want to take a look at what the MMA fans are saying, and I will give my reaction afterwards. Then I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's get into this post over here by MMA on point and this is honestly a pretty good way to take a look at what the MMA community is saying because MMA on point had over 1.2 million views on their post over here UFC heavyweight champion John Jones has threatened a drug tester's life the drug free sport international's agent has reported to the police that Jones was intoxicated and threatened him and her or, or her excuse me while trying to obtain a sample for testing and honestly there's a lot going on here John Jones ended up saying that hey uh, I gave I, I'm paraphrasing of course I don't remember off the top of my head but he ended up saying like oh my god well I ended up giving him a high five as they were leaving like everything's okay I don't understand why there are people right now who are taking John Jones side and I'm a, you know what guys I am the type of person I'm the type of person who doesn't believe nearly anything that they read and I go I don't care show me evidence I am that type of person but how many times do we need to see this from John Jones? And what's interesting is we're going to take a look at something that Daniel Cormier said a long time ago. So stay tuned for that. But I don't understand how people can still be on this guy's side. I wholeheartedly believe this. I <laughs> we know John Jones is hidden from drug tests before. We know he's a violent man. We know he's kind of a sociopath. But let's take a look at some of the quotes from the post. And of course, <laughs> what's hilarious is the top quote over here is from a user named Heavyweight Thanos. And if you guys are on Twitter, this guy is absolutely hilarious. John, stop. I'm here for a drug test. And of course, it has that video of Jones <laughs> running at the guy with the gun. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. But there was, oh, here it is. I knew it was towards the top. So Daniel Cormier predicted this. John Jones will never change. I remember back in the day, when Daniel Cormier first said this, how many people were like, oh my God, Daniel Cormier doesn't want to give John Jones a chance. John Jones is trying to find Jesus. John Jones just made some mistakes. Like, and there's still people here. It's good to see that the MMA community is kind of changing their tune on John Jones. But still, man, this is ridiculous. Like, how many times do we need to see something like this? So I want to walk you through this clip again because it really really does say something special about Please. it. Please. Sober and truth is his history dictates and determines that the same thing is going to happen. That is his character. That is him at his core. I look at that young lady, the PR lady that's on his team now, and I see in her eyes, she knows she's fighting a losing battle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Right after this, how long ago was this? I, I'm, it could be, I could be totally wrong on this, but what was it, like 2015? Something or something around there? And John Jones has done nothing but mess up and done arguably worse stuff since. <laughs> I look at his coaches. I see that these guys know that this kid will not change. He, won't, he will not change. He's the same guy. He's rotten at his core, and he will continue to f*** up. And then everybody looks at Daniel Cormier back in the day. I was on Cormier's team the entire time because I've seen enough from John Jones personally. Now, you know what? Honestly, nothing against the people who were against what Daniel was saying at this time. But if you were disagreeing with it in the modern times, if you're disagreeing with it in 2024... Then, okay, there's a little bit of flawed logic on your end there. Don't you think that people can learn from their mistakes? Yes, but not John Jones. Mistakes? Mistakes. You don't constantly make mistakes. No? You make mistakes, but you don't do them over and over no? and over and over. No. no? <laughs> I love Jones's face there. Sorry, guys. I know my camera's kind of covering it, but <laughs> I, love, I love his face there. <laughs> I can't make mistakes. It's, <laughs> you know, I don't know if he's actually confused or if he's just like, you know, that fake John Jones that everybody like, like, uh, I, oh crap. I can't remember the channel off the top of my head, but like the guy who makes all the animations, right? <laughs> where John Jones is just like, Hallelujah, like no matter what, where he is, he's just like this fake good guy. We all know John Jones is a fake good guy. I don't understand why he just doesn't embrace the heel to be honest with you, but like, <laughs> I can't make mistakes, Daniel. I can't make mistakes. Like, he's sitting there. Like, he's, like, this so much better person than Daniel. And Daniel Cormier is speaking like... <laughs> Sorry. Daniel Cormier is speaking like he's saying the most outrageous things. That's how John is looking at him. Says who? You don't do that. If Says you who? know when a mistake, when you make a mistake, it changes you. You try to make yourself better. Not necessarily. And this is, many times we've heard this speech. John, this isn't the first time you've told us this. No, absolutely. Thing. You know what? This isn't the first time you've told us that. So how am I supposed to believe this guy? 
and Cormier was completely right. He's went on to tell it over and over again. I don't need to actually. I don't give. I actually give, give two if John Jones is in jail. I can give uh, two. I, I just don't want anything life threatening to happen to him. But anything else, I, I don't give a damn if John Jones is. I don't care what happens with him. Yeah, Please. Daniel Cormier so understood that John Jones is a bad, bad guy. Like, at the, I don't understand what people need to see at this point. It's crazy to me, but it's just. I can't make mistakes, Daniel. <laughs> it kills me, dude. It kills me. But anyways, like, <laughs> so here's another user had this to say. Truly shocked to hear this. So inconsistent with John's character and past actions. So people, it's nice to see that people nowadays are really starting to meme it. People are understanding what John Jones is. And I wish I could find the video. I will actually pause the video and try to find that for you guys. And okay, I did find it. Here is the interesting part. And honestly, ignore the caption here. This is the first video that I found. And it's just, of course, they're memeing, right? But John Jones did say that he and like everything was okay. He ended up <laughs> he ended up uh being okay with everybody. He ended up giving him a high five afterwards. And of course, this video here shows John Jones giving them a high five, giving a little fist bump, leaving, guiding him out. Everything was okay, right? So that actually does work out for John Jones in that sense. That seems to be they left on good terms, right? But at the end of the day, this does really seem like something that John Jones would do, the things that are being claimed against him. How many times have you actually, I remember seeing a quote from the MMA guru on Twitter that actually I completely agreed with. And perfect. He actually has everything that we need to see here. So this is the quote from John Jones initially. I want to address the reports about me allegedly threatening a drug tester's life and take and and talking, taking a phone. I wanted to clarify that there is a video showing both drug testers leaving my home after the testing session where we exchanged a high five and a hug. <laughs> Although I was frustrated with the unprofessionalism and used profanity out of frustration. Okay. Stop there. <laughs> he probably was aggressive. It ended friendly and amicably. Nothing threatening at all. I was actually celebrating at a friend's birthday party at my home, and I can't believe it's perfectly normal to celebrate in the comfort of my own home. I must say, this particular tester behaved quite unprofessionally and even breached standard protocol along with HIPAA laws. Throughout my 20 years of being subjected, subjected to drug tests, I have never encountered such an incident with a DCO officer before. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what people like people are just completely memeing about it right good religious boy walking out his guests after, <laughs> after praying with them for a safe trip home so it seems to me that a lot of people really don't just buy anything that john jones says anymore i don't buy anything that he says and i wanted to bring you back to what the ma guru said because i actually i actually agree with him in this sense guys she high-fived him on the way out that doesn't mean he didn't do anything tell me you've never grown up in the hood before and had to appease an aggressive crackhead in the gas station with kindness before you get out <laughs> there before without telling me and i will say i definitely didn't grow up in a bad neighborhood at all but i do have myself with throughout work have a lot of experience with these types of people the people who are cracked out the people who are sociopaths violent violent people i used to work in a a sketchy area in an emergency room right so i do have a lot of experience and there's a lot of times where you literally just to calm these people down you're like yeah man what's going on like yeah i don't want you like nothing's everything's okay you don't have to be here i'm just here to make sure that you're like you know what i mean you end up appeasing these people and while i do ultimately disagree with the way that this was presented like tell me you've never grown up in the hood before i don't think that's particularly okay to say but it's the part about having to just appease an aggressive person just high out of their minds. I understand that. And that is – honestly, that's a way that you could handle these people. So I wholeheartedly – I don't know about you guys. I have seen enough from John Jones to say that I don't believe a thing that John Jones is saying. I believe that he threatened a drug tester's life. He knew that he was going to pop. This is definitely something that was going to happen. I've seen it enough. I've seen it enough. Daniel Cormier was always right. He was always right, and everybody hated him for it. It's crazy to me. I still, at the end of the day, would like to see due process with this entire thing, but I don't need to see it personally. I know I know what John Jones has done. And again, guys, I am the type of person who am so about evidence. I am so like, I don't care. I don't believe it. Show me what happened, right? But we've seen it enough from this guy, man. That We've seen it enough. I'm surprised that he didn't beat the crap out of her, and... I don't know why people are still on this guy's side. He was probably going to pop again. People are still going to call him the greatest of all time when you have a clean fighter like Aspinall, who was the interim champion. I don't know, man. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. It's, it, I'm glad the MMA community is starting to meme about it and turn it around on him, but there is still a diehard John Jones fan base out there, and I really don't understand why. He's a pleasure to watch in the cage. He is an amazing fighter, but 
the the greatness has been tainted. Too many failed drug tests. Too many controversies. Too many eye pokes in the cage. I don't think he's the greatest of all time, man. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Thank you so much for watching.